Welcome Protege. In this project we'll be interfacing an electric solenoid air valve to the Arduino Uno. For this project you're going to need a fuel can, a modulus canister, an electric solenoid air valve, a one channel relay, 30 gauge wire and a wire wrap tool, flush cutters, a small flathead screwdriver, a 14 millimeter open ended wrench, a quarter inch by quarter inch male MPT plug, and a small jumper wire with a quarter inch insulation cut off of both ends. On the one channel relay there is a three pin right angle male header. The minus and plus are to connect power so we'll connect the minus pin to a ground pin on modulus and the plus pin to plus five volts DC on modulus as well. The S pin is signal so that gets connected to pin 8 on the UNO and that will be an output which will be an input to the relay. On the opposite side of the relay there's a 3 pin terminal block. The middle pin is common and then you'll notice that there's NC and NO and that stands for normally closed and normally open respectively. So when the relay is idle uh, the normally closed channel will be closed so you can quickly determine that with a voltmeter by doing a continuity check and when you when you probe the common pin and the NC pin, you should have continuity. Now the other channel is normally open. In this project we have the valve connected to the normally open channel. So in the idle state, that channel is essentially an open circuit. So we are not supplying power to the valve. But when we send a high signal from the UNO to the S pin on the relay, that channel will be closed and we'll be able to supply power to the valve which allows it to open up and allow air to flow through. On the modulus canister, you'll need to solder on a right angle female header connector and a single row male header connector. Once you have those headers soldered on, we can then plug the canister into the 4x26 female connector on the fuel can, and then we can plug in the one channel relay module into the right angle female header. Next, we'll start wiring up the relay module on modulus. First, we'll start with the minus and plus pins so we're going to be using a black wire for ground and a red wire for plus 5 volts. After you have the black and red wire cut and one end stripped on each wire we can now wire up the relay module on modulus so we'll start with the black wire and wire wrap that one on and then connect the other side to a ground pin on modulus. Then we can wire wrap the red wire to the plus pin on the relay module and then wire wrap the other side to the 5 volt pin on the 4x26 breakout header. The last pin to wire wrap is the signal pin on the relay module. We'll go ahead and cut a piece of white 30 gauge wire and wire wrap one side to the S pin on the relay module and the other side to pin 8 on the Arduino Uno. The air valve requires 12 volts DC so we'll need to connect the banana jack to test lead clip cables to the female banana jacks on the fuel can. On the air valve itself look for the direction of airflow to determine which are the inlet and outlet valves so you can screw in the quarter inch by quarter inch NPT male plug. Connect the black wire of the air valve to the ground test lead clip cable and connect the red wire of the air valve to the common terminal on the relay module. You'll have to use a small flathead screwdriver to loosen the terminal block. Once you have the red wire inserted, go ahead and tighten the terminal block. Insert the small jumper wire into the normally open terminal block and then connect the red test lead clip cable to the other end. The software for this project is relatively simple. We only have to control one output, which is the output that's connected to the signal pin on the one channel relay. So this is similar to just turning on and off an LED. So we don't need any, any libraries to include. We just have void setup and void loop. Within void setup, we just set pin 8 to an output, and then we set that to low at first. Next we go into void loop. We set pin 8 high and that will close the contact to provide uh, 12 volts to the valve. Then we delay. We can change this delay based on how long you want the valve to be open. And then once that delay is complete, we set the pin low to 
open the relay, which causes the solenoid to sh close the valve. Then we loop back and delay for three seconds. That's it for this project. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe below or leave a question or comment.